part of my thesis. I've been working uh, with trying to establish uh, a student archive for moving images here at Wallard. Uh, so I'm just going to start by setting the scene of uh, what an art school is and what, where we are. Uh, Valand is a place where, where many people, young artists, uh, dream of getting in. It's, it's hard to get in. I, I know people who have applied seven years in a row until they finally get in. Uh, so there's so much energy going into a place like this. Uh, and uh, so much uh, success and failures and uh, local fame and uh, uh, hard work. And you, you tend to forget all that once you're in. Uh, and, uh, but there's still uh, uh, so much happening uh, with the young artists through the years they're in, in an art academy. Um, so, uh, I actually ended up with this collection of video works uh, for, uh, it was actually a coincidence. Uh, I didn't really know what I was looking at, if, if it was like uh, uh, just some, some trial of a camera or if it was a work that had been shown somewhere or or uh, uh, just uh, student exercises uh, and, uh, and even if I found a name and a title uh, sometimes I didn't get any search results on Google and uh, of course uh, a lot of students who have been to at, studying at Bond don't make it afterwards and maybe don't have home pages and uh, so it's, uh, yeah, I realized uh, quite quickly that uh, this might have been some kind of archive with this person alive, knowing what all of this uh, material is. But now, uh, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not an archive anymore, it's just uh, like... Uh, a collection waiting to die, it's like a tomb. Uh, so, uh, I realized that my biggest work would be just trying to uh, 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 resurrect or re re reconstruct this archive and, and uh, uh, regain all, all this knowledge about the works and the context that, that now it's like sp spread out in many people's like old former students and teachers uh, memory but but not uh, collected anymore mm. so i can show you uh, this is uh, uh, this is the only list it's it's just this page that i have found but there are hundreds of works uh, so this is like the only official document of works that uh, uh, the school might uh, own or... Uh, so all the other works were kind of unofficial. Uh, so, uh, but then... Uh, Quite, uh, then I, I did uh, an exhibition to kind of uh, kick, kick this uh, project off and, and, uh, and uh, so I started contacting uh, artists uh, of uh, like selected works that I found and, uh, and uh, talked to them about the works and, uh, and then uh, Uh, I made an, an, an um, kind of an archival presentation of uh, 
works by 20 artists uh, from 1985 to 2015. Uh, before this exhibition, I had uh, uh, been trying to, like, to, to make arguments for establishing a, a digital archive here at school. Uh, but I haven't been, hadn't been so successful. Uh, there wasn't really that, <coughs> like a lot of people thought, yeah, maybe that's a good idea. But I didn't under really understand. It's, it's not like very high on the priority list. Uh, uh, <coughs> so this ex exhibition was actually very much, much a, a strategy also from from my side. Uh, to make an argument for why uh, why this could be important, <coughs> and mm, and it was also uh, a way to start to contact the artists and, and talk to them about both uh, their time at Valand and. Uh, uh, how they had been thinking when, when they started to experiment with the moving image. Um, and also talk to them what, what they thought about uh, uh, the works and uh, uh, how they, they remembered uh, like the technology and how they had worked in, in 1989, for example. Uh, so, and and that was also part part of my strategy to do this exhibition for the 150 year jubilee here at Valand. Uh, so all all the leadership of Valand uh, uh, was there, and and I, I I saw that they I talked to them, and I felt that. Okay, now I can start to really <coughs> argue for this happening. Um, and uh, I, I, I must say that I, I'm not an archivist. Uh, I'm, I've been working with curating, and I'm uh, most often I'm making films. I'm studying in the film department here. Uh, so, I th like, preservation is not really why I'm doing this. It's, uh, I think some people might consider me maybe a bit uh, reckless in my process, uh, because uh, it's, it's kind of uh, the ideas I'm fighting for. I have a few uh, my catalogues from graduation exhibitions that has been really important, but many times it's very little text, and uh, and it's just still images, uh, and uh, often not from the exhibition. That's that's the images that I often miss. How were they installed? Uh, and. Uh, So I, I've been having to, to contact the artists. And uh, some artists have really laughed when I've contacted them, like, why are you, why do you want to do something with this work? Uh, I did the, that day. And uh, when I did this exhibition, many, many of the works uh, hadn't been shown for sometimes 20 years. Uh, and uh, uh, some artists got really nervous about uh, having to show them again. They were like, I have a, they, uh, one artist told me he hadn't been so serv uh, nervous in, in many, many years. Uh, but very few have refused though. And uh, I have uh, come to understand that many of the, uh, many of the works uh, have been really important to the artists. Uh, for some of them, uh, uh, life-changing, uh, actually. And uh, 
yeah, as I said before, there's so much energy going into these schools. And uh, I've, I've been talking to one of the technicians who has been at this school for a long time, and he said that uh, he, know, he knows videos here that people have almost uh, risked their, their lives uh, doing. And, uh, mm, yeah. But then after graduation, the works are forgotten. And that's, that's the collection I, I'm sitting with now. And uh, it's easy to make this, uh, this kind of argument, uh, uh, like emotional arguments about them. Uh, but it's, uh, some, some days I can't even argue to myself, why is this important? Uh, and, uh, but I think that this is an almost complete collection of, vi of from the first experiments of video in an art school until 30, 30 years later. It's, it's an almost complete collection. And you can, in that, uh, in these works, you can follow a fast technological development, and you can see how students have adapted or backlashed to this. And uh, to me, it's really, really intriguing. And I, I find some, I have found some that I think are amazing works. And I'm, I'm just thinking, in, in 10 years, in 20 years, in 30 years from now, uh, when we can look back at, if we continue this to collect the works and, and have this complete collection, this must be interesting. And uh, I'm also a resource for students and teachers and, and researchers. So... Um, now I'm going to present three videos that I have selected. Uh, for this occasion I have chosen uh, quite new videos. Uh, two of them have never been shown before. And uh, one of them I have been uh, actually struggling for months uh, to get hold of the artist uh, and finally uh, saw him in a bar <laughs> a couple of weeks ago just because uh, uh, this the video uh, the world champion badge mister uh, that's a video that's been in the archive but the DVD doesn't work but the title really <laughs> Uh, I've been so excited to see this work, and uh, yeah, I'm really glad to be able to show it right now. So I think they're good examples that also speaks to the presentation I just did. So, yeah.